guys! Welcome to Church for Home of Christ Kids. I was just having a little snack here. You know, I guess one nice thing about doing school from home is that if you get hungry, the kitchen isn't very far away. So I'm having a little popcorn here. It is one of my family's favorite snacks. Microwave popcorn especially is so fast and easy. It doesn't need us to do very much at all to make it tasty. But you know, there is one thing that it does need. A little salt. If I think about having this popcorn without salt on it, it just doesn't sound as appealing. Or think about a pretzel. They have all that salt stuck to the outside of them that helps them taste better. Because that's what salt does. Salt makes things taste better. And Jesus tells us that we are like salt. I'm like salt and you are like salt. In fact, Jesus calls us the salt of the earth. He was using salt as an example to remind us about something important. He was wanting us to know that just like salt makes things taste better, we should make things around us be better. That when people are around us, they'll feel more kindness or helpfulness, or that people would find more forgiveness hanging around you and me. And for sure, they were hoping that people should feel more love whenever they're around God's people. There really are so many ways that we can be like salt. There are so many ways that we can make a situation better by acting like Jesus. And I know this is true with you guys because I know you. I have seen you acting like Jesus and making things better for those around you. I see you, Joshua Lee, bringing joy, sharing joy. You make things better by sharing your smile and your sweet attitude. You bring the salt of joy. And I've seen you, Madeline. Things are kinder when you're around. People feel included and welcome around you. You bring the salt of kindness. In fact, I've seen all of you guys use your strengths that God put in you to make things better. So I think you're really gonna connect well with the Bible lesson today. I really hope you have a great week and I hope you get to be a little salty for those around you. So until next week, remember that we love you and God is good all the time.
for saving me. Thank you, God, for saving me. Rescue from the middle of the ocean deep. Rescue from the middle of the ocean deep. You set my feet on solid ground. You set my feet on solid ground. I once was lost, but everybody, it's me, Jacob, and today we're getting creative with light. Creativity is imagining what you could do because you were made in God's image. And God could tell you a thing or two about light. It was the first thing he created after all. Let there be light. Oh, no, too bright, too bright. Did you know that light can travel at 186,000 miles per second? If you were in a spaceship, it would take you three days to get to the moon. Light can travel to the moon in about a second. Fly me to the moon. Let me bump it in the stars. And never... You can use light in all kinds of creative ways. Not only can you make shadow puppets. <laughs> you need light to take pictures and make videos. This won't do at all. This is terrible lighting. Lights! No, no, down, down with the lights. No, too bright. Thank you. You can use lights to make a concert more exciting. You can even use light to communicate. S O S. Need help. I'm out of. Chocolate. Sad emoji. I don't actually know Morse code. 
In today's story, we're going to learn about another use for light. In fact, we're going to learn how you and me can be the light. I can make a bee. I can make a bee. It's, you gotta get the wings. Uh, oh, okay. Bee. I'm a bee. See you in a few. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verses 13 through 16. Keisha Jones tied the strings of a large white apron carefully behind her back. She glanced at awe at the gleaming silver countertops and appliances in the kitchen of a cupcakery where her brother Robert worked. This is amazing. Yeah, pretty great Myers letting us use the mixer and stove. Pretty great, you're helping me. Keisha offered to bake cookies to raise funds for the new marching band uniforms. Even better, she convinced Robert to help her. He clipped the smudge recipe page over the counter. Brown butter and toffee chocolate chip cookies? Sounds weird. Trust me, they are the bomb. Robert worked evenings in a bakery for three years, so Keisha had to admit, he probably did know. She looked over the recipe. Two cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt? Actually, we're quadrupling the recipe, so that's four teaspoons of salt. Robert tossed Keisha a set of measuring spoons. Cookies are supposed to be sweet. Won't the salt ruin them? Nope, salt actually brings out the flavors. What does that even mean? You wanna test it out? Fine, I'll make a batch with salt. You make one without. You're on. The siblings worked quickly as Robert showed Keisha how to mix dry ingredients and wet ingredients separately. What do we do now? Add the dry ingredients into the wet mix on low speed. Slowly, or you will make a flower storm all over this kitchen. I knew that. As Keisha worked, though she began to hear another sound over the mixer. Wow, rain's really coming down. Yeah, and this is such an old building that every time it storms, the power goes out. I can't see a thing. Robert fumbled with his phone until the flashlight came on. It always comes back on pretty fast. We can wait it out. Robert settled down on the floor, back against the cabinets. Keisha, Sighed and sat down too. She checked her phone. My battery's dying. Entertain me. What? You can't live without your phone? I don't know. Tell me a story. I was just thinking of one. About salt. Really? One that Jesus told. Ooh, that one. Sermon on the Mount. Well, it fits. You know, the cookies. Fine. Read it to me, preacher man. It's in Matthew. I know that. Robert settled in with his Bible app. Jesus saw the crowds, so he went up on a mountainside and sat down. Then he began to teach, and pretty quick he gets into this part. You are the salt of the earth. That's it? Well, no. I mean, then Jesus talks about throwing out the salt if it loses its saltiness. How do you even know if you're salty? I think it's like the cookies. Salt makes things taste better, and people who follow Jesus can make life taste better. Mmm, like chocolate chip cookies. Robert punched her lightly in the shoulder. You know what I mean. When we share God's story, we bring hope to others. We help to fill their lives with kindness and joy and peace, all that good stuff. Okay, okay, I get it. Salt, good. There's something about light too, right? Yep. Jesus says, you are the light of the world. People do not light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand. Then it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine so others can see it. Then they will see the good things you do and they will bring glory to your father who is in heaven. Keisha shifted 
trying to get comfortable on the hard floor. So when we follow Jesus, by showing God's love to others, when we do that, others can see God better and what to do. Like a bright light. Yikes! Robert leapt up to try to stop the mixer as the power came on. Keisha stood and stretched, blinking. Like a bright light. You planned that, huh? Of course. Well played. Hey, I'm going to put salt in my batch of cookies after all. Well played. As Keisha measured the salt, she smiled. The cookies would have came out great, but she has some thinking to do about ways she can become salt and light herself. Jesus said that I am a light. He said that you are a light and we should let our light shine so others can see it. And when we shine our lights, it will help point people to God. So how do we shine our lights? Well, we can give someone a helping hand. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Oh. We can cheer someone on. You can listen when someone else needs to talk. That's my ear. Listening. Only you can shine your light the way you can. So get creative. All you have to do is treat others the way Jesus did. Love people, serve people, and treat people like they matter. Then you'll be giving people a glimpse of God's story. You'll show people how much God loves them and how much they matter to him. Here's the one thing to remember today. God created you to share his story. Tell people with your words what God has done or use your actions to point people to him. No matter what, let your light shine. I know I'll never forget that. I'll see you next time. Oh, it's too bright. It's too bright. Ugh. Bye. Oh, okay. <laughs>